hello guys in this video we are creating this so let's start it i have created a new project inside this new project uh, layout file i want to create here a new button and for this button width be a match parent and it should be a wrap content and for this i am text as a let me to see the dialog after this i want to set the id for this button so id as a <coughs> button okay and after this we want it acts at a center in parent so true it will appear at center and after this we want to create a new layout for our custom dialog so i am creating a new resource dialog resource file called as a dialog after this dialog inside this dialog layout file I'm converting it from constant layout to the relative layout and this what we need is that we need text view to be a wrap content and inside this text view I'm putting a text as a are you sure want to save and for this text view we need the color of text color of text should be red so android dot sorry red color and this should be appear at a center so horizontally center to the true and top margin to the 10 dp and text size to the 20 dp and after this what we want we uh, we want to create uh, two uh, buttons for this so i am creating a new linear layout inside this linear layout uh, we are inserting a two buttons so first button of should be I'm creating a width should be a 0 dp and height should be a wrap content what basically the width 0 dp for for this we need to set the parameter called weight and setting it to the 1 so it will generate the uh, we want to create a two buttons so it will generate two buttons in the respective into the divided into the equal parts basically so i am setting orientation should be the horizontal and i am copying this button here as you can see this is get divided into a two equal parts so for this button we want text as a yes and for this button we want sorry text as a no and for this button should be appear below the text view we want to set the id for this text view as a id text and here i am creating a parameter called layout below layout below of id of what we have created is text so it will, as you can see it is appearing below the text view and we want top margin should be the ndp and for this we want a margin at uh, right side as well as on the left side so margin on right should be at 10 dp and 
margin on left should be also at NDP so it will generate something border like means it will not touch to our uh, full screen so we are, I have created here uh, two buttons but for these buttons I want to set the background background means it uh, it is it should be around uh, corner should be around it so I am inside the drawable uh, I am creating a new drawable resource file called as a button background and inside this drawable I am new <coughs> sorry creating a new shape of sorry of shape rectangle and inside this rectangle shape we want we want solid of uh, color color should be red and for this uh, stroke we need to create the rounded corners so i am inserting a new parameter called as a corners and uh, radius of this corner so i want to set the whole four uh, corner radius so i am inserting a radius parameter inside this radius i am creating a 20 dp of a radius so it will generate a corner a radius should be a corner and we want another drawable so i am copying this and paste it here and calling it as a button background sorry no and click ok and for this background what we need is that we need stroke color of that stroke should be this this color i am copying here and paste it here and width of this stroke should be a 2 dp and we need this solid should be appear as a white and it will generate like this and inside this our dialog layout what we are basically doing here is that setting a background what we have created as a button background so as you can see this button is looking pro much professional as, as we see many of the apps have this this kind of buttons so i am changing the text of sorry, text text color to the white as you can see this is looking good to me and for this also i am setting background to the back uh, button background no as you can see this button is looking good and text color uh, text color should also be a uh, same as that we have copied uh, earlier and for these buttons we need padding so for this padding i am creating a margin layout margin it will generate margin for four sides so means all the sides it should be a margin of 5 dp as you can see this button this button is having a margin of 5 dp i want it to a 10 dp and same margin should be appear for this our yes button so as you can see these buttons are looking good and after this what we need is that we need to pass the id for this id as a button button yes and for this we need is id button no <coughs> we have created a id also so inside our main layout after clicking on this button we want to appear that dialog should be appear so inside our main activity what we are we need a button called as a calling it as a button 
and we are initiating that button by using a find view by id method that r dot id dot button and what we need is that we need to initiate we have initiated this button but we want to set the on click listener so i'm setting a button but set on click listener sorry new on click listener and inside this on click listener as you can see uh, after this on click listener we want to uh, dialog should be appear so i'm creating a new dialog object and calling it as a dialog and i'm initiating with the new dialog method and passing it as a application context as a main activity dot this and after this what we need is that we need to set the content set the content view of this dialog uh, what we have created early there's a dialog layout so uh, resources dot layout dot dialog and it will set the content of this dialog to the whatever we have created and for this dialog we need to cancelable sorry set cancelable cancelable to the uh, false so uh, whenever we create a touch outside of this layout uh, dialog it will not cancel this dialog and finally we want to show this dialog so dialog dot show and after this we have created a two buttons so i am initiating with the two button called as a button button yes and button no and we need to initiate this as a button as is equal to find your id r dot id dot button yes and similarly for the button no find view by id r dot id dot button no yes and after this we need to set the on click listener for this both two buttons so set on click listener is new on click sorry on click listener and after this uh, clicking yes what we want to show here is that i am just simply showing a toast that you have click you have sorry you click yes button and we want to dismiss dismiss this dialog after this toast appear dialog dot dismiss and similarly for our button no and copying this code and paste it here and change this to the button no and I'm removing this toast and only putting a dismiss so it will dismiss our dialog let's run our application on our emulator <laughs> yes we have done with the application and as you can see here we have new button and after clicking on this button we have get app is crashed because let oh sorry we have take here we have did a mistake because this and these buttons are uh, inside our dialog layout so we need dialog dot find view by id so it is, as we have seen that these buttons are located inside our uh, dialog layout so dialog dot find UI ID and it will definitely work here now yes we have done with this and we have run our application and after clicking on this button as you can see we have done 
uh, we are getting a new custom dialog and after clicking on this yes button we have click here is a new toast and after also on clicking on no this is getting disappear so we have done with this custom dialog layout tutorial thank you for watching this video